Hello, everybody. Welcome to Innovations in Health. John DeShula with you here, welcoming Dr. Diana Rodriguez, a dentist in practice for 12 years, currently in Union City, New Jersey, and serving really all of northern New Jersey. Welcome, Diana. Hello, John. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Dr. Rodriguez, we're here today to talk about a brand new technique, mini dental implants. It's something that you are doing at your practice, yes. and it can change people's lives. Explain what it is. So a mini dental implant um, is a type of implant that is minimally invasive. Um, mini refers to the diameter of the implant. So we can, in most cases, place these um, non-surgically, which patients love to hear. Um, we just make a small pinhole in the gum, and through that pinhole, we just thread the implant right into the bone. And this mini dental implant is something that can be used on someone who has already a denture in place, but it really moves them f so far along. It's so much better than the standard denture. Right, so what we can do is, uh, if a patient comes in with a poorly fitting denture, we can place four implants and then their denture will snap right into those implants. That's amazing, it just takes that and connects it right to the gum. Right, so you could have a patient that is not able to eat a lot of foods and within an hour they can go home and resume what is a normal diet. And that's what's so amazing about the mini dental implant technique, it just doesn't take that long. And it does not. It, it seems almost amazing to me that it would just take a few hours from the time you sit in the chair at your practice to having that done. Yep, so what I like to tell the patient is that I can replace that tooth faster than I can do a root canal, do a filling, clean your teeth. When someone comes in for a consultation and they sit with you, how do you explain the mini dental implant based on their dental situation? So, um, Typically, we'll, I'll use a model, one of, the, one of these models, to explain it to the patient. And what I uh, explain to them is that we will give them some Novocaine, just as if they were having a filling done. And um, we make a small opening in the gum, thread the implant into the bone via that small opening. We no longer have to make a huge incision. And then once that uh, implant is in place, we can go ahead and place it either a temporary crown or a permanent crown. So if a patient is missing um, multiple teeth, what we will do is once we've studied the case, we can go ahead and place the implants just via a small pinhole in the gum. We thread the implants into place. And what's great about the mini implants is that immediately they're anchored into the bone. We don't have to wait for any healing. With mini implants, it, they integrate immediately and that is why we can place the crown or the bridge at that same visit. Within a few hours they're home yep. and, and, and perhaps maybe a Tylenol overnight will, will yeah, make them feel just a touch better. Most patients will just take uh, Tylenol, Motrin. Um, very rarely will they actually need the pain medication that is prescribed. Dr. Diana Rodriguez is a wonderful, wonderful dentist in New Jersey. She's become a part of our Mini Dental Implant Centers of America program and I heard her interview and she said I hold her hand the whole step of the way. What a pleasure it is to hold this wonderful person's hand and help her with mini implants anytime she needs help. It's a, it's a great pleasure and it's great to have her as part of our team. What, are the, what has been the reception to this when you tell your patients about what this uh, can do for them? Well, most patients are shocked. It's, it's new in my practice, but it's not a new technique entirely. This is something that we've been doing now in dentistry for the past 16, 17 years. And you have a very interesting practice where, where you're based, and it's bilingual practice as well, so that the patients come in, they really are able to connect with you. Yes. Um, I work very hard on establishing that patient relationship um, and you know, tailoring, tailoring um, a solution for each patient. And most times I like to give each patient multiple solutions um, at different price points so they can choose the option that is most affordable and really best for them. This is something that you're going to work with the patient to make it work for them. So what most patients decide uh, to do is um, work with the financing company that we uh, offer in the office and basically um, it's a very simple application and right away 
within three, four minutes, we will know whether the patient is uh, approved for the financing, that's interest free, and um, then we can just go ahead and get started at that same visit. But in addition to that, there are some other ways that you're helping your patients, which I think is very, very interesting. Right, so if a patient comes in and they're not um, approved for the financing, which you know nowadays does happen, the option that I give them is to basically do what I call a dental layaway, when most patients understand that right away. And what I tell them is that they can go ahead and start paying for their treatment, and once the uh, treatment has been paid for in full, we go ahead and complete it. And I think it's great, Dr. Rodriguez, because you're able to really connect with your patients. I think that's what's so important for mm -hmm. somebody who's out there watching in, in northern New Jersey, that they can come to you at your practice, yep. and, uh, and, and they really create a connection with mm -hmm. you because you really have that extra special effort that you're going to make to make their visit comfortable. And it's general dentistry that you practice as well. Yeah, we practice uh, general dentistry, um, anything from, you know, gum therapy if their gums need help, to root canals, uh, crowns, bridges, dentures, um, implant, mini implants, obviously Invisalign. Where is your office? Uh, we are on Bergen Line Avenue in Union City, New Jersey. When you got started in dentistry, we were talking before uh, the program, there aren't that many women in dentistry, but you were inspired by a woman dentist. Yes, my dentist, um, who I uh, started out assisting her, I believe, when I was in high school. You have some very interesting stories because the patients that you've dealt with have had a life-changing experience as a result of going to your practice. Yep, uh, one patient that comes to mind is a patient of mine. Uh, originally, she came to us through her husband. Her husband had come in for an emergency and went home and told her about the office. Um, and she had been to see several dentists because she had a lower, lower partial denture, which um, was removable. She couldn't get used to it. She, it would make her gag. Um, so she was having a lot of difficulty chewing her food. So um, she kind of came in as kind of like a last attempt. I, you know, I've heard multiple times that I'm not a candidate for implants. I don't have enough bone. But you know, what do you think? My husband thought you were really nice, so I'll just come in and get your opinion. Um, and when she sat in the chair, you know, she did have very limited bone. However, she was definitely a, a candidate for mini implants. So um, you know, we went ahead, took the necessary x-rays, the impressions. Um, study the case and then uh, we went ahead and replaced all the teeth that she was missing on the lower right side of her mouth and she was so happy that uh, a couple weeks later she came back and we went ahead and replaced the teeth that she was missing on the lower left. That's amazing and you know we're talking about patients that uh, might be a little bit older but the mini dental implant and the procedure is something that a patient of any age can experience if they have a lost tooth or they have some issue going on with, with, their, with their mouth. Age is not really a factor. This is something that anybody can enjoy. Right, so we will uh, place a mini implant on a patient as young as 13 or 14 years of age up into patients that are in their 80s and 90s. I completed this procedure on my grandmother uh, recently. Um, and she's 85. You know, she was just in shock with the procedure. She just couldn't get over, you know, how, how it was so painless and easy and quick. I had my procedure a few months ago, and it went great. Uh, no problem. I love them. I, I truly thought that it would be very, very painful. And I was amazed that it, it, it only took a little over an hour. And when I went home, I, I could basically eat everything again. Everyone notices, you know, that I smile more and, and uh, my confidence is, is better now than it ever has been. And, and they just they are amazed how, you know, how it changed my whole life. So this is what we call um, the fix on six procedure with as little as anywhere between six and eight implants on the upper. Um, we can replace the entire arch of missing teeth, most times denture wearers are frustrated. There's a lot of foods they cannot eat. Um, so this is a great option because now their palate is exposed. There's basically nothing touching the gum tissue and they can really go from not being able to eat a lot of foods to speaking with confidence, um, you know, engaging in different social situations with confidence, sure. chewing, eating whatever foods they want. Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Rodriguez. Dr. Rodriguez serves Union City in northern New Jersey using a modern and gentle approach to dentistry. 
A leader in affordable mini dental implant procedures, Dr. Rodriguez has changed the lives of her patients who suffer with loose dentures or missing teeth. Dr. Rodriguez and her staff pride themselves on providing the best possible services using the latest technology so you leave her office happy and satisfied. Call me today for your free consultation. Let me create your winning smile. I came in with uh, almost a medical emergency from a very old bridge that had cracked and I needed to get two implants. Um, Dr. Rodriguez suggested that I get mini implants and after some research, this is what I decided to do. It seems to be a way less invasive process with a shorter healing time, although in my case I had severe bone loss and it took quite a long time for the bone to regenerate. Anyway, um, Dr. Rodriguez is great. I love the office. It's um, modern, clean, nice. She's very knowledgeable, patient, answers all of your questions and gives all of the pertinent information before you begin the process so you have total understanding of what it's going to be. And I love coming here. Another patient that I could tell you about, John, is a patient that came to me after having had a denture made um, by another dentist. And when he came into the office, um, he had the denture in his pocket. It was uh, his upper denture. And he was just walking around without teeth. Um, he was on a pureed diet. So you're talking about a grown man that really could pretty much eat soup, mashed potatoes. How long was he like that? Um, he was, I would say, it was probably several years that he was like that. Well, a while back I had a set of dentures, okay? And every type of food I was eating was unlodging the dentures, no matter what type of adhesive I used. Even eating a grape, I actually had them come off. And it was very uncomfortable if it happened in certain places. So I heard, you know, about you, Dr. Rodriguez, and your many implants. So I decided to come and, you know, go into that highway of Seattle. And actually, the procedure didn't take long. It, it wasn't painful. And it, it actually went pretty, pretty quick. And actually, I'm very satisfied with it. I can eat almost anything I want. My lifestyle is back to originally the way it was. So my diet is back. And I can, so I'm actually back to normal, better, better than I was when I had those dentures in my mouth. So and because the denture you weren't even really wearing, because it was No, because out. I couldn't eat anything. Uh, it would come right out and would never sit. So these are actually more or less permanent. Okay, and uh, they're in a very stable, so I can, I can eat a steak or eat whatever I want. And he went from being someone who really had a very limited diet to someone that could go to any restaurant and order anything off the menu. So when this happens and you're able to put the mini dental implant into the patient's mouth, how long does it usually last? Is there a longevity issue? And, and how would someone care for their mini dental implant? It's going to last them a very long time. It's hard to put a number on that, but um, I would say it, it is going to be a, a long time. Um, in terms of caring for the, the implants and the prosthesis, it's you know normal brush, floss. We give each patient a water pick so they can keep everything very clean. We encourage that they come in on a routine basis, just like they would if they had natural dentition. What would motivate somebody to want to come to see you? One patient that comes to mind is a patient that came into our office um, because she was starting a new job in two weeks and she had um, uh, she was missing a tooth on the upper right, right behind her canine, and she said to me, um, I cannot start this new job with this missing tooth. It's just so embarrassing to me. And what I did for her was we went ahead and did the CAT scan right in the office, and she did have limited bone, but it was enough bone to place the, the mini implant. So we went at her, and really at that point, her only question for me was, well, how soon can you do this? Because I start this new job in two weeks. So we went ahead and placed the implant at that visit, and uh, I placed a temporary crown, and in two weeks later, she had the permanent crown, and she was just ecstatic. That fast? That fast. Have you heard back from a lot of these patients about how the mini dental implant has changed their attitude and changed their life? I see these patients on a routine basis, and all of them are very satisfied. This is an interesting technique, and it's a technique that you have invested a lot of your time in learning to, yes. to, to get the latest information possible that, mm -hmm. uh, that you bring back. Talk to me about 
that process and, and how you've been able to become educated in the mini dental implant. So what was happening in my practice, my patients were coming to me and telling me, Dr. Rodriguez, I need an implant. And I would tell them, well, okay, you have to go see the surgeon. Um, and then after you see the surgeon, well, then you'll come back here six to eight months later and I'll place the crown. And what they were telling me was that they did not want to go to the surgeon, that they wanted me to do it here in my office. And eventually I came across Dr. Shacken's course in Buffalo, New York. And I was just in shock with, uh, you know, the material that he was teaching and the procedure. And I just thought, well, this would be something that would be great for my patients and I could keep everything in-house, and which is exactly what my patients were looking for. Well, I know Dr. Shatkin has instructed many, many dentists uh, across the nation, and, and now here in northern New Jersey, you are the beneficiary of, of all of that expertise. And, yes. uh, and I know he thinks very highly of you, which, yeah. uh, which is wonderful. And, and uh, so our, our viewers are knowing that not only Dr. Rodriguez, but the, there's a whole staff of, and a whole team of people who are exactly. there to make sure that that mini dental implant is, is right. just right. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin, and I've trained thousands of dentists on my very exciting mini dental implant procedures, which can stabilize loose dentures or replace missing teeth in one or two visits. Dr. Diana Rodriguez from northern New Jersey, just miles from Manhattan, can change your life too. Whether you're missing one or more teeth or suffer from loose dentures, Dr. Diana Rodriguez is a very compassionate, caring individual who has a beautiful office and a wonderful staff that are there to help you. I promise you, if you give her a chance, she can make your life better with mini dental implants. Call her today. Take it from me, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin, and I developed this technique and have trained thousands of dentists worldwide. Call Dr. Diana Rodriguez today. She will change your life tomorrow. Let's talk a little bit, Dr. Diana, about you. You know, you've been in, in dental practice for a while, and yeah. uh, what motivated you to become a dentist besides that inspiration? What is it about the patient-doctor connection that, that really is, is stimulates you? Um, I'm the type of person that, uh, likes to see a problem or and or an issue in someone's mouth and be able to fix it right away. Now someone who might be watching this may have a dentist that they're already going to. Somebody mm -hmm. that uh, they've maybe in the family or they just right. you know it's a natural course of their life mm -hmm. been going to. How would you offer some advice to that patient, potential patient, to say, no, you can come over and, and see me in Union City. I mean, right, so I like to direct patients to our website, sure. and uh, obviously we offer a complimentary uh, consultation, so you know, there are a lot of patients out there that like to do their homework ahead of time, so if they want to go onto our website and take a look at our website, and then they can just give us a call and schedule that free consultation. Now, tell me about your website. It's dentistunioncitynj.com? Yes. And on that website, a potential patient or your current patients can learn all about the mini dental implant and the other services that you offer. Yes. And in that website, you also have a phone number. So if someone re wants to reach out to you, what is that number? It's 201-866-9400. All right, 201-866-9400. That's how you can reach Dr. Diana Rodriguez. Yep. And, and Dr. Diana, you know, we wanted to educate the public in the affordability of this. And the mini dental implant is something that is so innovative and so terrific and it's it's a it's a it's an american made product by the way we should mention that so the, yes. the tooth that you will have and the implants that you will have are made right here in the in the united states and it's something that really is going to look good it's going to be shaped and colored to 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 match the rest of your mouth yeah and what i also always tell my patients is that mini dental implants are less than half the cost of conventional implants. The metal piece that uh, is there and it's placed in the gum, when we say minimally invasive, mm -hmm. you know, and, and when people see that, they think, well, is it really that minimally invasive? Is, is, is that pain really as, as minimal as, as we describe? But it truly is. It's not a lot of effort to get that in place. The only thing they're going to feel is a slight pinch from the needle, just as if they were going to have um, a filling done. And then after that, the only thing they feel is the pressure from me working in their mouth, and that's it. I have pa I've, I've had patients tell me, really the worst part was uh, the x-ray that you had to take. So as, as we're educating the public, and that's what you want to do, and that's why we're here today, to really make sure that the public out there in northern New Jersey is educated about this. And when they come to you and you present this to them, does somebody then 
maybe offer maybe an object an objection to it and say no it isn't right for me or based on some of the things we just discussed and how would you address that if somebody says now I, I don't want to do that you know there are some patients that feel that way so we try to offer um, you know another option um, really I feel the only thing I can do is uh, work on educating the patient and giving them all the information and let them make the decision but um, based on all of my uh, education I really do feel that this is the best procedure and that's why I have done it the, be the best option and that's why I've done it on family members and I always present it as the most um, you know minimally invasive and a traumatic procedure available to replace their missing teeth, whether it's one tooth, whether it's multiple teeth. And let's talk about your education. Let's get a little bit of the background of Dr. Diana Rodriguez so our viewers can get to know you a little bit. Where did you study your dentistry? So I graduated in uh, 2004 from Tufts University and I stayed uh, for uh, two years after that in Massachusetts practicing general dentistry and then after that I moved back to New Jersey um, and I worked as an associate in several different practices and then in 2012 I decided to open my own practice. And what, I think what's interesting in, in the practice that you're in and where you're located you know is really in, in one of the largest concentrations of metropolitan <laughs> cities in the whole yeah. wide world yes. uh, and, and yet somebody that is coming to your practice is getting a world-class procedure right in your office. Right, right, it, right in their backyard. Right in their backyard, so you don't have to travel long distances. You don't right. maybe have to pay a rate that might be a little bit higher some other place. Right. And I think that's what's very interesting. And, and, and you do have that connection, you know, with your patients. Yes. And once again, where are you located? So if somebody's out there now and they've learned about the mini dental implant and they are now they're motivated to connect with you, how would they do that? Call our office at 201-866-9400. They can go on to our website, which is dentistunioncitynj.com. Um, they can schedule their appointment online via our website if they wanted to. And now that we've learned all about this, and I'm going to go back to the models yep. one more time, let's go through them once more so that the viewer out there can really take a look. So if they have a denture, how would that change their life, a conventional denture? Okay, so if the patient has a, most of the time it's the lower denture that the patient is struggling with the most, but we can stabilize both. So what we can do sometimes is we can use the patient's own denture. In that case, we can do this procedure in just one hour. And so we would place the four implants and then a O-ring housing goes inside their existing denture. And that is what allows for the denture to snap right onto mm. those implants. And so you can take the denture in or out based yep, they on can, your they, own convenience. They take the denture out a, a couple times a day to clean the implants. Um, a lot of these patients will sleep with the denture in, which is fine. And it's um, a secure yep, piece. You can hear that tight fit because that's the O-ring housing that's locking the denture into place. So the patient should really understand that this is something that's going to last. This is something where that is not going to slip out. Right. The O-rings do have to be replaced um, approximately once a year. Um, the patient may feel that the, it's not fitting as tight, the denture, um, in which case they come in, and that's something that we do right in the office. Uh, we can just pop these O-rings out and mm -hmm. pop new ones in, and that's something that's, you know, once a year. That, Part of the general routine maintenance exactly. in addition to the, to the cleaning. Right. So that's the denture. Now let's talk about, again, the set of teeth and how that, the porcelains would work. So in this case, we have what we call a roundhouse. And so we've placed about 12 implants at that first visit when we place the implants. Most of the time, what the patient gets is a temporary bridge. And at that same visit, we'll take the impression to fabricate the final bridge. And within a few visits, the patient will get their final bridge. This is as hard as diamonds, this material. There's nothing touching their palate, so they're able to taste their foods, feel the hot and cold. And this is a phenomenal option for patients that have an existing denture that's fitting poorly. This is really like uh, their third set of teeth. And it makes the full set of teeth look so good, too, in addition yes. to what you're able That's, to bring to the table. The zirconia for, looks phenomenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have a tooth in the back. It's fallen out. I need some help. There are a few teeth that are not right. Don't okay, neglect so them. 
in, in the case of m multiple missing teeth, um, what we do is uh, we can place the implants. Um, and in some cases, we have the bridge made ahead of time. And at that same visit, we can cement the bridge right onto the implants. And that's just a few teeth, that's and that could teeth. be in, in, in a situation where a tooth is lost or a tooth is decayed. Right. So you'll work with the patient, but the front teeth remain the same and the rest of the mouth is in place. It's just a few teeth that need the dental implant. Exactly. Yeah. And finally, a single tooth. Exactly. So, so what it's we do, not difficult. No, what we do in the case of a single tooth is, um, well, the patient comes in, I discuss with them what their options are, whether it's the bridge or the mini implant and the crown. In most cases, I try to steer them in the direction of the mini implant and crown so that we don't have to touch those adjacent teeth. Because if the adja adjacent teeth are in excellent condition, I really do prefer not to touch them because um, if we do touch them, sometimes the patient can end up needing a root canal on those mm -hmm. teeth. If they develop a problem with those adjacent teeth in the future, they'll most likely lose the whole bridge. So that's why if those adjacent teeth are in good condition, I just prefer not to touch them. Um, so what I explain to the patient is that we will go ahead and do the CAT scan, um, uh, take the necessary uh, impressions, and at, within two weeks, they will come back, have the implant placed, and the crown will be cemented at that same visit. So the process from the consultation to the actual dental implant is not that long? No. No. And then the actual procedure is very it's brief. very quick. Yeah. Uh, if the patient comes in at 9 o'clock in the morning and it's a single missing tooth, usually by 9.30, we're done. That's an, it's, it's the lightning speed. Exactly. And because you have the latest technology in your office in Union City, mm -hmm. this is how the mini dental implant will work in your practice. Exactly. Well, Dr. Dana Rodriguez, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, You are John. an innovator in health, and uh, everyone in northern New Jersey, we hope you've been educated in what the mini dental implant is all about, how it can change your life, and how most importantly, going to see Dr. Diana Rodriguez can really make that experience a much more personal dental experience. It's not something that's going to be hard, difficult, no. painful. It's, it's going to be something where you will work with that patient, not only on the care, but on the affordability. Yes. Well, congratulations Thank on all you. of your success, Thank and we, you, uh, we hope that uh, all of our patients now out there watching will come to you, and they too will have a beautiful smile just like you. Yes. <laughs> all right, Dr. Diana Rodriguez, thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Rodriguez. Dr. Rodriguez serves Union City in northern New Jersey using a modern and gentle approach to dentistry. A leader in affordable mini dental implant procedures, Dr. Rodriguez has changed the lives of her patients who suffer with loose dentures or missing teeth. Dr. Rodriguez and her staff pride themselves on providing the best possible services using the latest technology so you leave her office happy and satisfied. Call me today for your free consultation. Let me create your winning smile.